At the time of writing this video, the premiere for the 13th season of Drag Race has been out for more than 24 hours, and I've already received 3 or 4 messages asking me if I could do the what if Tamisha Iman had competed on season 12 video. Now, I take this as a compliment, really, I do. Knowing that people want to hear my opinion on this and feeling that I could provide them with an answer to this question, however, and even though I have spent almost half of my life looking like Harry Potter, I'm not a wizard. I can't know what kind of looks Tamisha would have brought to season 12, how she would have interacted with the other queens, how the producers and the judges would have liked her, how she would have done the challenges, and how the producers would have treated her. So that video, in the classic way that I do what if videos, cannot be done. I mean, no, okay, it can be done, but it wouldn't be based in reality at all. Just to remind you, if you aren't sure why this sort of video would be done, Tamisha revealed that she was cast on season 12, but due to having been diagnosed with cancer, she, of course, started therapy and could not film the season. However, what we can do is ponder and discuss. Firstly, Tamisha being on season 12 means that one of the queens in the cast, as we know it now, does not get cast on the season. Due to this fact, we would have to nix one of those contestants, the one that was last cast. Now, I don't know if you know this, and I was reminded of this by some of you, but the last queen cast on season 12 played a pretty integral part on the season. The queen in question is Jada Essence Hall. As Jada has said, and as her castmates have confirmed, she had one week less to prepare for the season. I also found this information on the Drag Race Wikia, which isn't always the best place to look for information, but whoever edited that in left their source, so thank you for that. Jada was the alternate for Tamisha's spot, so with her being there instead of Jada, we immediately get a completely different outcome of the season, as you know, we lose the season's winner. This opens up another topic and basically confirms what we've known for so long, that the producers absolutely only ever cast based on drag queen archetypes. I mentioned this, or rather threw this idea out in my Is Drag Race Repeating Storylines video from the summer of 2019, where at the 6 minutes 40 seconds mark, I say that there's clearly a trend of how a certain type of a queen does on the show or is treated on the show. Now, we know that that's just not a theory. A game theory. Wait, no, wrong channel. Now we know that that's factual. Of course, we've already known that reality TV always casts based on archetypes, so it's no surprise that the same thing happens on Drag Race. I think Tamisha was supposed to be the pageant queen of season 12, and Jada was solely her replacement. Now, it is a question if Tamisha will have the same role in season 13, but we're going to have to wait and see general idea on how she would have done based on the little that we got to see her in the first episode, uh, I don't know. She's obviously a seasoned queen, she follows the rules and everything, so on season 12 that might have been a hindrance to her, as it did seem to be a season of younger queens, and then there was also that one that thought that she was 60, so... Tamisha's constant blind belief in what Rue said, meaning that all seven of them were actually eliminated, showed that she didn't really know how the show worked. Like, it was an obvious gag or a setup for something bigger. If they were eliminated, why would they still be filmed in drag? We could look at this from two sides. On one hand, she wouldn't make any commotion backstage, so she'd be liked by the production and possibly saved if needed, or on the other hand, she wouldn't know how to play the game of Drag Race and would not be eliminated mid-season. But yeah, those are all of the thoughts I have on this subject. It's not a long video, and the next one won't be long either, but it is about the first episode of season 13. Now, what are your first impressions on Tamisha? Please do sound off in the comments, but without spoilers. Thank you for watching.